Look, they might be a lot of fun, but at the end of the day, they're just toys for children. <laughs> I mean, to learn about a real racing car, you've got to drive a proper car. Steve, you are so far wide of the mark. These are serious racing machines. There's so many successful drivers who have come from this. I mean, I did it for 10 years. I know all about this. Damon Hill became world champion. He never raced a kart. But that's the exception of the rule. Anyway, look, we've got a couple of challenges for you. I think you're going to find out a lot harder than you reckon. They're just toys. This is our weapon of choice, a KF1 kart, the top level of machine used in professional karting. It may only have 35 horsepower, but it's so light that even with a driver on board, we're talking 220 horsepower per tonne. About that of a BMW M3, and the 125cc motor revs all the way up to 16,000 RPM. And talking of power to weight, to make things even, all carts are ballasted so that with their driver, they weigh the same. So to make things fair today, Jason's having an extra two kilos added, so he weighs the same as me. Time for the first challenge, the pit stop. We're gonna come around this corner behind me side by side. We're then gonna sprint into this position. Carts go up on the trolleys, we change four wheels and lube the chain, and then first man back on the track Wits. I talked through strategy with my mechanic while Tiff blathered on as usual. Then we were off. <laughs> Weighing just 85 kilos, it was easy to haul the carts onto their stand. Tiff, that's your gun. But in a race suit and helmet, I could hardly breathe and was all fingers and thumbs as I grappled with the wheel gun. I had given the gun to my mechanic and was already halfway through changing the wheels. You go round with the gun tip, back up front wheel. What gun? What there gun? You go. What the gun one you've just come used on. and reverse come on, it. Son. How do you reverse it? Having spent 10 years doing this kind of stuff as a kid, Jason Killy had the upper hand. Oh! I resorted to dirty tricks, but even my efforts to sabotage Jason's pit stop weren't enough to stop him winning. I think we got the duff gun. Oh, the duff gun. Every mechanic's like drivers. You always blame your tools. Right, that's the dancing out of the way. It's time to get down to business. The most important round a dogfight around this PF International Circuit, the Silverstone of karting. Three laps of pure racing in pure machines. This is going to be brilliant, and Tiff is going to get grumpy. Place your bets, folks. This is my first race in a proper kart, and the pressure was on to drive perfectly. In the middle of lap one, the old boy was all over me. I've got him, I've got him, I've got him! We must be doing getting on for 80 miles an hour here. But the power delivery of these things is brutal! And I thought 35 horsepower was a match! Hello! Let's see if I can get around tip of the first corner. Ah, oh, it's better on the side of me! My arms are pumping like I need Popeye spinach, the curbs are vicious! I have to use my left foot to break, which it's not used to. And so I can't get the sensitivity right on the braking. As we entered the second lap, Plato held on to his lead, and I was tiring because of the huge G-forces involved. This first corner apparently gets three G. My neck muscles are killing me. Lap three became a festival of overtaking as we diced back and forth. Overseer, understeer, power! Right, back inside him. Oh, too fast in there. I'll cut back. I'm on the outside. Got a good lead on Tiff now. So he reckons cartons for kids. <laughs> hey, oh, what's he doing? He's cheating. Hold on a bit. I think we can get him back. Yes, we've got him back. For kids, then? Toys, you say? OK, maybe a slightly exaggeration. They're proper things, aren't they? Hard proper work. Proper things. Great for training for racing lines and great for training physically. Yeah. Oh, I was a bit puffed towards the end of the race. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. My muscles were um, pumped. Oh, sore here. Ribs. So, two challenges. 2-0 yeah. down, Tiff. You lost. Well, when the first one, 
you bung my mechanic a 10, I'm sure. Or something it was, it was a 20. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one, I was in pain. I was running out of air, my neck muscles had gone. But I'm not fit enough to drive these things. I think we'll end on that note. A good, hard day out, though, isn't it? It is. <laughs>